Hello, in this video we're going to do a Lagrangian expenditure minimization problem. We're going to try to find the minimum level of expenditure for a given level of utility. We're going to use this utility function. Here's our utility function. This is a quasi-linear utility function. One variable enters in a nonlinear manner, the other in a linear manner. And we want to solve for the minimal level of expenditure that gives a consumer a utility of 75, assuming that the price of good X is $10 and the price of good Y is $1. So setting up our expenditure minimization, our constraint here is the level of expenditures. Expenditures on good X is the price of good X times units of good X. The expenditures on good Y equals the price of good Y times units of good Y. And to form our constraint, we're going to just move our variables over to the left-hand side. So subtracting x squared from both sides and subtracting y from both sides, we get the following. And substituting in our values, the price of good x is 10, price of good y is 1, and utility is 75. I'm going to take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x. So the partial derivative of 10x is 10. And then the partial derivative of lambda multiplied by minus x squared is going to be minus 2 lambda x, and we set that equal to 0. The partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to good y, partial derivative of y is 1, and then the partial derivative of lambda multiplied by minus y is just minus lambda. And then the last partial derivative here is with respect to lambda, and we get back what's in parentheses. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our first partial derivative result and solve that for lambda. And doing that we get 5 over x. Then I'm going to take our second partial derivative result and that too I will solve for lambda. And now we're going to set lambda equal to lambda. So setting our lambda equations equal and solving for x, x equals 5. And now we'll take this x equals 5 and plug it into our third partial derivative result. Here's our third partial derivative, which is just the constraint. Where we have x, we will place 5. And simplifying, 75 minus 25 is 50, and therefore y equals 50. We plug in 50 for y, 5 for x, and plugging in the respective prices. Price of x is 10, price of y is 1 we get an expenditure level of $100. So if the, consumers ha if the consumer had $100 of income, the consumer would achieve a utility of 75. Okay, that's it. 